Hello and welcome again to this edition of Florida Internet and Television's Fi TV. I'm your host, Brad Swanson. We are coming to you just a few blocks from Florida's capital in our technology pavilion in our headquarters. I am joined by Senator Denise Grimsley, candidate for Agriculture Commissioner of Florida. Denise, welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Well, we're happy to hear. Before we get into the campaign kind of stuff, you got to tell us a little bit about yourself. How did you get to where you are now, both in politics and business? And then, and then we'll jump into the campaign. So how'd you get here? Well, I grew up in a small county in the middle part of the state, and I went to school to be a nurse. And I started out in healthcare because I was a candy striper when I was 15. What's a candy striper? Candy striper is a volunteer in the hospital. Right, we got it a helps. lot of millennials watching. They don't okay. know what that is. Well, so. they call them volunteers today. Right, right. But when I was 15, it was called a candy striper. So mm -hmm. that's how I got interested in healthcare. And okay. I knew I wanted to help people, so I went to school to be a nurse. I nursed for 17 years. And then my dad got sick, and I left my job as a nurse to run his company. And we were in the citrus business, but we also had 10 convenience stores. We were a petroleum distributor and had an right. LP gas company. Few regulations in that world? Several regulations. Every single state agency and the legislature had a hand in our business. So you would just call and things would happen easily and there were no regulatory problems that, that uh, happened? Yeah. Or is that why you got in? That is why I got in. Okay. All there right. were many issues. All right. All right. So, so, so let's jump into the race. So you're running in this race to be a statewide candidate. You've run geographically for House districts and Senate districts, but now it's statewide. What will be your top priorities as a candidate for this office? Well, I think when you look at the Agriculture Department, I mean, first and foremost is agriculture. How do we keep agriculture strong, which already contributes significantly to our economy? How do we economy, keep it? Right? How do we keep doing that? And the other thing is the consumer side. Mm -hmm. The Commissioner of Agriculture is the chief consumer advocate for the state of Florida. My background is in consumer experience, and now I'm a hospital administrator, so right. I also focus on patient experience. Right. That is the same thing the Commissioner of Agriculture needs to be focused on. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, so let's jump into the agriculture part first. So it's a billion dollar industry for Florida. It's global in its nature. So, so, so people have the sense of what agriculture was, right? Cows mm -hmm. and horses mm -hmm. and farms, but it's really a modern industry. What's the future hold for that industry? How does this industry move forward for Florida? Well, there's a couple of things. Uh, number one, our next generation. How do we mm -hmm. grow up our next generation of agriculture producers? Mm -hmm. The average age of a farmer is 59. Mm -hmm. So it's incumbent upon both the commissioner and the legislature to, to determine what do we do and the industry. How do we lead that next generation into agriculture? Yeah. Okay, so, so we're talking about the next generation coming in. There's all sorts of technologies mm -hmm. tied to that. So we know they're going to be connected to our, our Internet and hopefully our, our televisions as well. But, but let's jump back on the, um, the consumer services side. This is a whole another department that sits under this umbrella. What will be, what's your focus there? What do you want people to know about when you think about the consumer services mm -hmm. side of the department? Well, like I said before, the Commissioner of Agriculture is the chief consumer advocate. Mm -hmm. So it deals with things like the skimmers and the gas pumps, right. the no-call list. I'm doing a piece of legislation this year right. that deals with that no-call list. We're fans of that as Because well, right? it doesn't work. We know it doesn't work. And that's the number one complaint that I get when I go out and to speak with people in the community. Right. So the piece of legislation that I'm doing authorizes the providers, like such as the, the telephone providers, mm -hmm. to go ahead and block the numbers that they know are coming from right. overseas or coming from people that are just eventually trying to scam money off of people. Right, right. And as, as call providers ourselves, we, we've been working with you, and we know that's important for protecting mm -hmm. Floridians, so that'll be great. Okay, so consumer services, agriculture. On the agriculture side, we talk about protecting Florida's natural resources. How do you protect in this world, because you run both the consumer protection mm -hmm. and the ag, mm -hmm. how do you plan to do both but still encourage a healthy, business environment, if you will, for the state of Florida? Well, whether you're a farmer or a rancher or a consumer, you're all consumers. Mm -hmm. And so everyone cares about our natural resources and everyone should care about the business climate. Yeah. And it's finding that right balance. How do you create more jobs in the agriculture sector? And you asked earlier about, we were talking about the young people. Mm -hmm. Technology is huge. You know, how do we, as, as a leader of the agriculture department, it's incumbent upon me to send that message to the legislature, but also to the public, because we need to, in the local governments, how do we get more connectivity out in the rural areas where typically agriculture is? Right. Because that is the number one uh, driver in agriculture today when you start talking about your young people. Right. Conne connected service is, all, is a big deal for every industry in Florida. So, so we're there uh, building it. We'll continue to build it. But mm -hmm. uh, it's important that those that, that huge industry has connectivity. Mm -hmm. So, um, okay, so let's move um, out of the the kind of the good 
good side of what we hear about the industry, it's growing. It, it, it obviously, if you eat in Florida, you're eating something grown in Florida typically. Um, and let's talk about the recent hurricanes. They, they really destroyed a ton of Florida's economy. They, they impacted our industry and everybody we work with on the mm -hmm. South Florida all the way up. But the citrus industry was extremely mm -hmm. hard hit. Between the hurricanes and the citrus, I mean, mm -hmm. how, what, what, are, what is you know, Senator Grimsley's plans for that world? How do you help that industry? Well, I'll first say as a citrus grower myself, I mean, we are resilient and we will be back. We have struggled with citrus greening for many years, mm -hmm. and but we are learning to adapt. And for the first time in many years, we actually had a crop that looked good and we thought we would have a good return this year. Along came Hurricane Irma right. and put all the fruit on the ground. Um, as a, the chairman of the Senate Agriculture Committee, I've been solely focused on hurricane recovery. So today I passed something called the uh, farmer, the Farm Act, off of the out of the Transportation mm -hmm. Committee, which essentially sets up a sales tax exemption for people who are trying to rebuild their farms, whether they're in citrus, whether whatever type of the 300 agriculture commodities they are in. Mm -hmm. If they are rebuilding a barn or they're rebuilding fencing, they get a sales tax exemption uh, permanently. Is is what's proposed today, and we do that not just to um, help with the damage that we already have, but also to harden our properties further down the road. Right, because if you look it. at a barn that was built in the last five years, it probably withstood Irma. Mm -hmm. But if it was built 25 years ago, probably not. Right. So we, as, as the building code gets better and better, and as we learn more and more about structures, we want to continue to build and be strong. Right. Well, okay, so let's talk about those structures a little bit. Um, when you think about the agriculture industry, having worked with the current commissioner in, in my past, I mean, it really is a global industry. I mean, you know, you've got you've got every cut flower that's coming out of another mm -hmm. country moving through Florida, and it's part of Florida's agriculture mm -hmm. stream. Uh, talk to us about your philosophy on kind of that, that the international conversations as they relate to Florida's industry. How do you protect the Florida industry when you're still dealing with that international business model? Well, because many of those things are federally regulated, mm -hmm. it's incumbent upon the commissioner to develop and maintain a very good working relationship with our congressional delegation and our United States senators, mm -hmm. as well as Sonny Perdue, who was the, uh, the federal commissioner of agriculture. Right. And it's important for me as commissioner of agriculture to uh, articulate what is going on in Florida, how important agriculture is to Florida, what we need, because if we don't, if I don't articulate that, they are not going to know the answers to those questions. Right, and, and really, as, so as a cabinet member, this position mm -hmm. is also kind of the the reminder in chief, if you will, of the role this industry plays. So often, you know, we'll see media focusing on tourism, which is mm -hmm. an enormous part of our economy, as well as construction. Mm -hmm. But agriculture still sits at the heart of every community, because ultimately, there's a grocery store that's getting that food there, but it's the supply chain. Well, that it gets does. It and remember, after September 11th, agriculture is what sustained Florida. Yeah. Because there were no tourists. Yeah. Yeah, that, that's a great piece to remember, and, and, and it's protecting that, that stream of, of business and that economy here to, to keep it strong. So, okay, well, I know all of that's very important, right? Very important stuff. But, but when, when Senator Grimsley is not in the Capitol fighting for your constituents, or you're not out on the road campaigning, we're going to talk about something very important here. What do you stream when you need to take your mind off of all of this? What shows do you like to watch? What are your shows? You know, my favorite show of all time is Dallas. Okay. All so right. I still watch the reruns. Okay. Oh, you watch the reruns. I, I was going to say, I do yeah. like the new ones, but we all grew up watching, you know, Who Shot JR? No, I like JR. Okay. I like JR and Bobby. That's, okay. Any games but, that you're playing with your grandkids online or? Uh, uh, we don't do much online no. playing. You know, my grandkids are outdoorsmen. Right. My grandson's a hunter and a fishermen. Well, that's great. We have a pond on our property, so we spend a lot of time down there okay. fishing. So, so yes, if you're asking me, do I want to come down and do some hunting on the property? Of course, you I'm going to volunteer. We right? would love to have That'd you. We, we have a few horses you could ride as well. And there are amazing apps out there as well. So, um, okay. So, so as we, as we move back towards streaming and we move back into the capital and you start advancing these agriculture ideas and this economy, um, you know, what do you see in the citrus industry specifically as far as like logistics and, and moving your property, I mean, do you find Florida mm -hmm. is advanced enough? Because because the cabinet does does vote on a lot of the mm -hmm. the multi jurisdictional stuff, DEP and FWC. Mm -hmm. I mean, do do you see the technology moving in the right direction as it relates to the mm -hmm. agriculture industry? No, oh, absolutely. I mean, agriculture every day is is getting more and more precise. Mm -hmm. You can control like your your water levels, how much you water. If you have if you have connectivity, you can do that from right. your smartphone. Right. And I mean, to the, it's very precise on how much you deliver. So you're you're conserving your water. Right. Same thing with uh, fertilizers or 
any kind of pesticides that you may have to use. I mean, that's a great point. The water advocacy piece is another huge role we see the Agriculture Commissioner stepping into in our disputes between mm -hmm. Florida and, and uh, Georgia and things mm -hmm. like that. I mean, w where do you see Florida water policy moving. I mean, we still are going to have six million more people as the Florida mm -hmm. Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. Their research shows by 2030, I mean, that's a lot more demand. I mean, what are the top two or three things that we see the Agriculture Commissioner mm -hmm. looking out for as it relates to water for the agriculture community? Well, I think the big focus is, uh, is conservation. I mean, mm -hmm. you won't find a, a, a better conservative than a farmer, a better conservationist. Right. And by using the technology to reduce the amount of water that we use, then that, of course, fills up uh, uh, freeze up water for other people. Right, right. Uh, I mean, aquifers and things like that. And mm -hmm. we saw how, how they used to do it in Florida back in the 80s and the 90s, and that was a much different philosophy than we have today because ultimately it's going to be a balanced approach. Oh, yeah. Well, I mean, when I was a kid, we had uh, we had drainage pipes through the, the grove, and we just watered when we had no idea. Right, right, right. No idea what we were watering. Well, that's all the time we have, Senator Grimsley. Thanks for coming by. We really appreciate it. Before we go, is there anything you want to add? Well, thank you for having me today, Brad. Uh, just that I'm a conservative a Republican. Mm -hmm. I bring my values and my business experience to the voters, and I look forward to earning their support. All right. Thank you. That's all the time we have for today's episode on Fi TV. Thanks for tuning in. Hit us up on our Facebook page and our Twitter feed, and thanks for tuning in.